What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here with Juan. What are you going to be doing today? Today we're going to be seeing if we can get rid of this uh, door ding. So I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it's an actual ding and they scraped the car. So we're going to see if this will buff out. Because you got hit where? At work while I was parked. So we're going to go ahead and <laughs> wash the car first to get it nice and clean. And then we're going to see if we can buff that out. Yo, you said your milkshake what? They shining. All right, she's all clean and we're ready to get that off. All right, so in order to tackle a job like this, we're gonna do a two-step process. We're gonna hit it first with some rubbing compound and then with some polishing compound. So, if this is gonna come off, it should come off with a rubbing compound, but we're just gonna hit it with a polisher right after just to be safe. So let's go ahead and try this real quick. And we're not gonna do the whole car, we're just trying to get this, this scratch off. So, ooh, like that. All right, so just a little dab. You just want to put it on the scratch like that and just leave it on there for a little bit and then after a little bit we'll just go and just kind of scrub it away but always use a microfiber towel so that you don't scratch it. Alright, ready? Yeah. Alright, let's see if it'll come off. with the polishing compound now. Let's see. Same thing with this one, just let it sit for a while. All right, and now we are gonna take the polishing compound off. And there we go. So you can still see the ding that's there, but the scratch is gone. It's just, the ding so I'm gonna see if we can get get this fixed in the future I might get like a little dent puller and see if we can target that little area but the scratch is gone so don't be that person always make sure that you do not hit the car next to you all right so we got the interior all cleaned up as well so let's throw the weather ticks in Yep, we're good. All right guys, I don't know how many of you guys have TikToks, but apparently these are trending. Um, these are air fresheners for your home filters. As you can see, those big air duct filters that you have in your house, you stick these on and it's supposed to make your house smell good, but people have been doing it on their cabin filter. So let's go ahead and try that out. All right, so as you can see, Emily is a napkin hoarder but basically the cabin filter is usually behind your glove box. So we're gonna squeeze the two corners and it should drop. And then it usually has something on the side that holds it on. And it's, in this case, it's this right here. So we're gonna pop this off. All right, so we popped it off. Hold this. And then we lower it. So. I always keep my foot under it and try to hold it up because if not, it's just gonna fall on you. Or you can just pop it off completely. And then down here is where your cabin filter is, right here. So you just squeeze the tabs on the end and the cover comes off. So I'm gonna lay that down there and then this is where the cabin filter is now. We haven't changed this in a while, so let's see how dirty it is. 
Oh yeah. It's a little dirty, but it's not that bad. So we're just gonna go ahead and clean it real quick and then we'll attach the, the filter. Buster's the supervisor. He's just making sure that Juan's doing it right. <laughs> He's the nicest supervisor. He's very laid back. Never yells at me. <laughs> Always sleeping on the job. <laughs> you don't do that, right Buster? <laughs> Let her talk about you like that, Buster. Come back. Defend yourself. Buster. All right, so it's pretty much as clean as it's going to get. And this is going to be temporary anyway until we get a new one. So <clears throat> let's open this up. You can smell it already. It smells like lavender for sure. Alright, so what do we do? We peel this back or what? I thought we just put it in there like that. That's how you're supposed to put it in. Just like that. Mm, I don't think so. There we go. Oh. Yeah, so you do peel this back. You peel this off and then it brings this little S hook which we don't need. So you want to put it on the bottom because that's where the air flows. So, more you, know. you put it on the bottom, and then you stick it back in. All right, so now that it's in, just pop the little cover back on. All right, got there. There we go. That smells really strong. And the air's not even blowing yet. Mm -hmm. So, what you want to do is you want to put this back on the clips, and then you can close it. And always remember to put back your little retainer back here. And voila! So now we can start it. Do you have the keys? Yes. All right, so now you turn it on, and then you blow the air full blow. There we go. And then you can I smell, can smell it. it. It smells really good. It smells really good. So shout out to TikTok for that. <laughs> so what's nice about this setup is that you don't have to have any annoying filters on your vents or any annoying air fresheners on your vents or on your mirror. I mean, we have this one just because it's Mishimoto and they sponsor us, but it doesn't smell anymore. So we don't have anything else and it smells good when you blow the air. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Um, hopefully you guys will now know how to take the scratches off of your car and the little TikTok life hack we learned. So thanks for watching. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And as always, Keep moving forward and stay on the gas. All right, give us some gas.